see you. Damn, you carried all this by yourself? Hello folks, and welcome back to Death Stranding. She got that S tier, getting that connection level up, which is great. We did have a lot of cargo for this guy. Oh, hey, we can actually rest here. That's actually kind of cool. And we got a huge boost here, which is great because we need to print some stuff. Here, I've been meaning to give this to you. I hope you can find a use for it. Understand. What is this? Well, be safe out there. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I said I got a star, though? Like, what does that... What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I have a food samples. This goes to the lake, right? Got a bunch of stuff in our truck that also goes... I wonder if we should just go back to Lake Knot City for a little bit. I really want to go to the film guy, though. See if we can do something with him. We, we should probably print some stuff out, though. That's what we need to do. Let's do that first. Huh. You can actually rest in the shelter. Um, okay. Anyway, let's fabricate equipment. Let's do... Let's build ourselves a ladder. Because I needed one and I didn't have one, and that's always, you know, the models makes me feel bad. Let's make a bull again. The level two, please. We have enough pneumatic grenades right now. I don't think we need any more. Apparently, all we can build from here, but we have a lot of power skeletons. Um, we already have a level three though, so I don't think we need anything else, and it's in pretty good condition. Our boots are in good condition. Yeah, the bullet gun should be fine. We have enough climbing anchors. You know what? Make me a PCC, too, just in case. I think that should be good. And we should definitely carry this stuff with us. So I think just load it up. Okay, our truck's got a bunch of stuff going to... Oh, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Going to the lake. The craftsman needs this stuff. So we got, definitely got to go back to the craftsman. The film director has one thing. Wow, that container damage is really bad. Okay. Okay. Let, let's go and let's do this. The photograph album's got to be done. Any delivery to that guy? Or do we not actually know that he really exists? We don't really know that he really exists. Okay. So don't worry about those ores yet. I'm tempted to rest in the shelter, but we'll worry about that later. Okay. The car is fully charged. My worry is that we're not going to have a full charge to be able to do this. We might. Okay, so if I drive straight... Straight-ish. Straight adjacent. I mean, it seems pretty short. Maybe? Depends how rough the terrain is. It doesn't look like we're going over any rivers or anything, so that should be fairly straightforward. Let's see how this goes. All right, there's our A1. And, yeah, okay, we got a bunch of rocks. Um, well, my guess is we're going to see some BTs. If it starts raining, I think we get out and grab that one piece of cargo. I don't think we have any um, time for reduction equipment on us, but... As long as we don't fall down, 
the cargo should be fine just on our back. Just the container won't really take any damage. Like, if it does and the cargo gets damaged, that'd be really bad. So, ideally here, we just don't get hit. That was like a drop. Is that a drop? It's a small drop, but it's a drop we can handle. What is that structure? That looks weird. What is that thing? Um, what is this? There's a happy sign on it. Oh, it's just a lot of those little... I don't really need that many. I'm not, that's a huge area for them, which is great, I suppose. But I don't actually need it. Still got it. Well... Uh, the trick is we just charged the car and now we're already down to half. So at the halfway point we probably ditch. Especially since the terrain seems to get much worse here. Yeah, this is much worse. Uh, wasn't there a ladder around here? I thought there was a ladder hmm. on our scopes. Uh, I don't see it now. Oh, there it is. Right in front of us, supposedly. Very supposedly. Let me go ahead and get out. We're at the halfway point now. I think this is safer to do. So, let me just grab the cargo we want to pull here. There we go. Photograph albums. Put that on my back. And we already have the ladder on our back. PCC's in our back. Pull a gun. Okay. I don't think we need the lost cargo food samples. So let's put that on the truck. Thank you. And that should do it. Okay. How's this gonna work? That's some awful, awful something over there. Uh, it really looks like here might be the best place to lay down a ladder. Like, right here seems good to me. I think our ladder's probably good enough. Okay, let's do this. I want my ladder here. To go here, maybe? Unstable surface. Well, that's not encouraging at all. Definitely don't want to go down. Down seems bad. Okay, unstable surface seems very, very troublesome. Yeah, that's not going to help me there. Okay, let's go. I guess I could just go around it. That's true. I probably don't need to cross this directly. I was just hoping I'd be able to do this, but unstable surface is not encouraging. Okay, no. Alright, let's go around it then, and hopefully that won't take us too far out of the way for the cargo. Otherwise, it'll be marked as lost, and we have to, I don't know what, figure something else out, I guess. And this seems pretty straightforward. Two wheels up. Chiral network goes out pretty far. Hold on, don't we have a PCC? We have a PCC in the truck. I don't think we have it on us, do we? Oh, we do. We totally do. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and just build a generator right here. If we're still inside the chiral network, that's really what we need to do. We need to charge ourselves at the halfway point, right? Yeah, so let's come over here. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Well, the rain's not encouraging. That is the structure we need right there. I wonder if we build the generator on the other side, then. We build it on the, um... Oh, hey, there's Snake Plissken here. He actually found a good place for the ladder? Okay. Oh, no, he went down. What the what? What the what? Into the gas? That seems like a problematic idea. I guess his ladder wasn't working? Let me build something here with this. Does that actually work? No. No. Unstable surface. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Now, a bridge here would maybe work. We need a lot of materials for that, though, and I don't have any on me. 
Well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's do this the hard way. Let's go. We might have some BTs. We have the structure in sight, though. So with any luck, it just means that there's just some time fall here, and that's just how it goes. Then we go back, reclaim the truck, and all's good. We just need to make sure to pick up this guy, or drop off our stuff, rather. And we should be fine. Depends how hard the rain gets around here. You know, it's funny, the skelet the power skeleton makes it look like, I don't know, we're really wide? Not fat, exactly. Though that wouldn't exactly be the wrong word, either. Just wide, you know? You no, know, some people are wide, like, um, like a football player, right? You would never call a football player fat, especially not for the face. But, you know, they're definitely bigger, just proportionally. So I could definitely, yeah, I would definitely see it say that is wide. I think if most football players are wide. That's kind of where we look like now. Like, I mean, it's just the skeleton doing it. If we were to take the skeleton off, I'm sure it wouldn't be noticeable at all. I, mean, I hate these rocks. The BTs do seem to love these rocks. So is the rain actually increasing now? The skin my teeth. Yeah, okay. I barely got my recovery in time for that would have been bad, because that would have uh, destroyed the cargo. Okay. Here's the film director. Very light rain. So far, so good. Um, yeah, this might actually be fine. Okay, here you go, buddy. This is your cargo. Delivery of the lost cargo. Here you go. Delivering cargo. What do we have here? A delivery? For me? Oh, man. I don't even know what to say. Is he going to join us? Ah, the infamous Chiral Network. I'll agree to a trial run, but just of the network. UCA is a whole other matter. That's fair. So you can connect me, yes? Sure. Well, okay. Go ahead, then. All right, get ready to fly. Okay, that opens some stuff up. There's definitely some BTs off the area there. That's a little dangerous. But this should make it possible to go further off to the west now. Depending on what other distribution centers there are around there. Hmm. Interesting. I'll think about joining the UCA at a later date. I have something for you. A token of my appreciation. Take it. I insist. More classes? Okay. So long, Sam Bridges. Thank you. Good work. New order available. Please access... Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to go back to the grassman at some point. Supply request. Deliver ladder in the middle of mule territory? Oh, this is the player that wants this. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Um, maybe. Might be able to do that. Return defective chiral printer cartridge. We can definitely do that. We're headed that way anyway. Uh, hold up. Is that a thousand kilograms? How the actual shit? Um, also deliver a time limit, which is going to be tricky as well. Let's say a thousand kilograms. One or more. Holy shit. Yeah, he's got a ton of these cartridges. And apparently he's not happy with any of them. Dude, I would love to do this for you, but that's way, 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 way too high. I can't carry a thousand kilograms? That's not possible. Holy shit. Even if we drive the truck over here. Well, no, if we drive... Okay, no, no. If we do this... How can we do this? So I can't carry this myself. But... If we drive the truck over... Maybe. Maybe. I'll have to think about this. We definitely need to go to Lake Knot City. Drop off all the other stuff. This one we can't do. It's just not possible. Some photograph from movie stars that we can definitely take to the craftsman. We got some stuff for the craftsman anyway. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a bit. How the hell are we gonna do this? Okay, if we're going to the craftsman anyway, let's definitely pick that up. I think we can do this. Yeah, I think this is necessary to make this work. Okay, that's fine. I think we can do this too. I think we can build some ladders. Um, we go to Lake Knot City first. We build the ladders and we come back. I think that's doable. I don't know how this film director thing is going to work, but we can figure it out. Yeah, let's, let's do your thing. Let's deliver. It looks like just a ladder, which I have on me. So that seems dual. All right, accept these orders. Yeah, just load it up. Thank you. Order assigned. Thousand kilograms. Is there even a good way to like go here? Like to drive? Guess it might be possible. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, that seems tricky. There is this wide open area here. There, there's some possibilities. We can maybe do this. A thousand kilograms. Or to drive an empty truck here. Yeah, that that's tricky. But we'll figure it out. There's got to be a way. The truck can definitely carry a thousand kilograms by itself, I think. Okay, rain here does not disturb me. It might just indicate that further to the south are some BTs. The truck itself should be fine, though. And this is the new truck, so, like, it has hardly any damage. Some of the cargo's gonna have damage. We should probably get, like, a cover for the truck or something. That seems like that's gonna be a thing, right? Although I suppose the time fall probably makes that problematic. Like, I imagine that it doesn't actually work to do much in the way of, like, a soft cover. Any canvas you use... Well, I don't know. I'm gonna say any canvas you use would probably degrade pretty fast, but... I mean, what is Sam wearing? Like, he's gotta be wearing something that's resistant. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah, so you've got something here. Yep, rain, you're not wrong. Um, you've got something here that works. So putting that same thing over the cargo area of the truck seems like that would be acceptable. Huh. Enough already. We're gonna need a ton of material. 
I was thinking like maybe make me a road over this pit thing so you don't have to go around. It's too bad the ladder doesn't work though. I wonder if the whole area is just unstable. You probably can't build on this whole uh, protruding rock. You probably gotta anchor it back here where the car is. And then once you have that done, then you'd be able to actually move forward. Wow. As much as I would love to do it, well, hold on. We could do it. Let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. If I use a PCC. Give me a yeah, bridge foundation here. And we can't build over the climbing anchor. That's fine. But can we do it like insufficient ground contact? Okay. Obstacle detected. I have no idea what the obstacle is, but I'm still trying. Maybe I need to change the bridge length. 80 meters, maybe? 80 meters seems like that should work. Still an obstacle detected, huh? Not an easy route to do. So much for that. Yeah, it's not going over the obstacle very well. I'm trying to back up and see if we can like get a good idea of what's going on here. But there's too many obstacles. I'm really unclear what those obstacles even are. Like they're just random rocks in the way. Isn't that what explosives are for? I don't think they actually work on explosives here. I'm trying to back up and see if maybe we can get a better position, but that doesn't seem to be working either. Wow, there's just no good place to do this, huh? Insufficient ground contact, but that's because it's not close enough. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right here. Right here. Build this. Okay. So, of course, it's not going to be able to print all of it. This is just the first initial structure. We're going to need to bring in a lot of materials to make this work. Um, I don't think I have anything on me right now, do I? Ain't ready. Model weapons, another garbage. Okay, so no, I can't do anything with that yet. But we can bring stuff over here. So it'll be ceramics and metal, for sure. So we can't build anything yet, but we should be able to build it later. Okay, let's go back over. Whoops, okay, don't fall over. I'm going to go back over to the craftsman in charge. Then we just used our PCC. We're not going to be able to... Uh, a generator. So we just need to be careful. But we just need to follow these back. It's funny I marked it down as a footprint. Didn't I drive over here? Maybe I got out or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's somebody else. Not necessarily me, right? Could be anybody. Okay, I think that bridge is going to make things a little bit easier. We could just go around. I mean, it's just a it's just a rift, but it's an easily traversable rift. Like it's doable. I don't know if watching. Okay, we got plenty of power. Should be able to make it back over to the engineer. I have no delivery for the engineer though. We're just gonna go back, basically just back to uh, Lake Knot City. We need to go through mule territory. I think we've already taken out the mules in this area, though. Pretty recently. So I think we should be okay. Yep, battery's running up. That's fine. There's a generator right over there. I see it. This garage thing, I don't know what this is supposed to do for us. Does it do anything for us? You know, like repair damage or something? There's music here, which is problematic, but... Nope, okay, never mind. There's a private room thing, but I can't actually do it from here. Okay. Let's charge up. Thank you kindly. Guess there's another generator over there, which I guess is also good. Okay, so this gets into mule territory, I think. Okay, we just went right over there. That's fine. I was wondering about that. 
Yeah, this is definitely mule territory. But we take the road. Takes us a good 90% to Lake Knoss City, so let's do it. And the mules can fucking suck it. Yeah, let's see what they think. I mean, going over here and taking care of these guys might not be a horrible idea anyway. Because I'll be able to actually grab their cargo. But right now, we're kind of full up. Got a lot of cargo for Lake Nass City. So we can outpace these guys, and then we'll be able to catch up to us. I mean, I guess they've shocked us before, but that's because we, we hadn't finished the road yet. So with the road finished, I don't think there's any chance they're catching up. I think we're good. I mean, it's not finished, finished, but it's, it's it's a good chunk of progress. Yeah, we totally outpaced him. That's great. Okay. Go ahead and lower those for me. Thank you. We've got a lot of garbage here. I'm more than willing to hand right off. Most of this cargo, I think, does belong here. We'll have to see how much cargo we can actually carry. I think we're full up on the truck. If we can carry a thousand kilograms. That might change some things. All right, deliver some shit here. There you go. Oh, is it just those? Huh, thought it was more. Good to see you. Wow. This is way more than we expected. Thank you, Sam. I got the preserved foods done. Did take the long way around, but still got S quality. That's good. Companion cube one, fantastic. Oh, by the way, I prepped a little something for you. Feel free to grab it whenever. The hell? Oh, it's a valve. That's hilarious. You what, you put it on the back of your head or something? Until the next delivery, then. Stay safe. Good work. New order available. Okay, the lost cargo I don't care about. Um, do I have anything to recycle? No. You can't take any more chiral crystals from me. Got nothing left for you. Okay, I don't need to make anything. I can't open the garage for some reason with a mule car, apparently. Which is weird. Um, I can claim cargo here. Sent by other players. Um, I don't really need any of this. I guess the ceramics wouldn't be bad. We are trying to print a giant uh, bridge, after all. So I'll take the ceramics. I think that's it right now. Go ahead and shove those in the truck. What else do I need to go in here? What else is in the truck? Ah, oh, that goes to the craftsman, craftsman, and craftsman. Okay. These go to the craftsman, which is fine. Okay, so those could probably go in the truck too. The real trick is how many kilos can fit in a truck? Even if it's only, like, 700, that would still be significant. Um, can we tell? I don't see any way to tell here. It's a lot of damage right there. Okay, so we do need to go back to the Craftsman. 
There's probably a delivery I can make. Let's go take on orders. Prototype bot delivery to the distribution center. Right, we do need to do that, but not... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, is that closer than it looks? Um, it does seem like someplace we've been very close to, but haven't actually touched on. Okay. It's only 30 kilograms. We don't really need to do much. Yeah. Okay, sure, why not? I'll do it. We've prepped a prototype bot for transport. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. If these autonomous delivery bots prove reliable, they could revolutionize our supplies distribution network. A lot's riding on this, so be careful out there. Do they fly? Because if they don't fly, I don't see how this works. I right, definitely give me a PCC. I'm going to need that. Uh, do we need a container repair? It's not a horrible thought to have one extra. But there's just a little bit too... It says I already have 16 somewhere. Probably in my private stash. So I think we're good. Our boots right now are okay. We have a bullet gun. We don't need a trike. I think we're good. Okay, put that stuff in the truck. I uh, load that in the truck too. Okay, so far so good. How much is this in the truck? Um, let's see. 16 plus 32 is going to be 48. That's 53. Um, that's another 58. Plus 29 will be about 80, 80, 87. And that's 97. 107. I mean, it seems like it's not actually that much. Depends. Depends a lot on various things. I mean, it might also depend on my type. Like my, uh, my scale, my star level. So it's hard to tell. Yeah, let's head out and see what we got. Order assigned. We already have a ladder. Right, we do have a ladder, right? I'm like a good 90% certain we have a ladder. Yeah, here it is, right here. So we can deliver the ladder. We might have defeat some mules to do it. But I think we've kind of already done that. Where are the markers? So we're going to go straight through mule territory. We're going to drive on the road. Yeah, we're going to drive on the road. We're going to deliver this. Okay, so when I leave here, go down the road. Uh, sure. Auto paver route 232. I go ahead and hit all the nice little hot spots. The generator right there. No, that's a paver. Never mind. The generator around here somewhere. We're going to get off the road about here ish and head over here. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. Hold on. No, we're going to get off the road at the end of the road. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to get on the road. And we're just going to take it. I don't think we really need anything aside from that. Then we get off the road here at the end. And that's where we shove off to the post box and deliver that. And once we do that... Then we go to the distribution center, which should be a straight shot, kind of? Eh, straight-ish. Okay, we do need to go to the craftsman. Who is here, right? Did, do we need to go to him? Oh, this craftsman here. Oh, um, yeah, 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 we can do that. Yeah, we do have some craftsman stuff, hold on. 
Does it work to go off the end of the road? Oh, we have deliveries to make. How's this going to work? Okay, so we get on the road. There. And then we get off the road, say, here. Let's go to the craftsman. Go back on the road. And then... Then do this. Then do this. Roughly. Okay. A little bit of jank back and forth, but for the most part, I think that works out. Keep on keeping up. Have a pleasant journey. I'm a little worried we haven't rested in a while. Keep on keeping up. I don't know how that's necessarily going to affect Sam or the BB or who knows what else, but we'll see what we can do. Like, maybe this will be enough that the craftsman will actually let us rest at his place. Or the distribution center lets us rest there. Like, maybe that's the thing. Weapons restrictions lifted. Okay. So all we do is we drive on the road for a bit. Got a basically full charge here. And actually, since we're on the Chiral Network Road, we shouldn't be using our battery at all. Like, stay on the road, there's a reason why you want to do that. If the mules think they want to take me here, I'm more than willing to prove them wrong. But they don't have a vehicle here, so it's kind of no point for them here. No point to stop them. Yeah, they can't get to us, so whatever. Man, I'm going to be sad these roads degrade. Hopefully we'll be long gone by then. There's some metals there. I should probably pick those up. Yeah, it's there for the film director here, too. All right, we're going to get off the road. A little earlier than planned. Okay, was the film director stuff here? It's over there, right? Resins, film director stuff's over there. And ceramics. Resins, yeah, okay, there's stuff I need to pick up here. Easiest way to get across, though, is definitely the road. We go back on the road. Generator's right there, too. I suppose I should go do that. Uh, the mules have seen me. Come get me, guys. You're all the way on the other side, though. There we go. Pull up. Here we go. Uh, generators everywhere. Just in case you feel like going off on your own, there's generators absolutely everywhere. Okay, so can we pick up stuff? Okay, I was gonna say, can we pick up stuff without getting out of a car, but right now that seems a little crazy. Stretch my legs. Okay, so we got the film director stuff over here. The hermetic grenades I don't really care about. I'll pick this up. What else we got over here? Some ceramics, metals, more stuff for the film director. I do want to head off in that direction, so that's the start. Let me go see if I can pick up the ceramics first. Oh, they're very far away. Further away than they look. Definitely pick up these resins. Don't fall over. There we go. And then load everything in the truck as much as possible. Oh, okay. That's fine. Anything I'm carrying my back needs to go in the truck. Maybe not the ladder, but everything else. Okay, shove that in the truck. Thank you. And 
carry as many raw materials as possible because we're going to need this stuff to build the bridge we want. Okay, so where are the resins at? A lot of lost cargo around here. There's some metal right here. Pick that up. And over there is ceramics. A little difficult to get to, but not terrible. We can do this. Yep, not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, metal's 100 over there. Where's that at? Oh, it's the mule. I mean, I could be tempting to the mule. It'll eventually come over here. It'll take him three weeks. Uh, yeah, see, that's a lot of metals. I totally want those. I am greedy like that. Well, it calls them over to me. It's just going to take a bit. But I got somewhere to be. I do have my bullet gun, right? Yeah, I do. Here we go. Okay. I mean, they're going to bring the metals to me. That'll make things easier. They'll be crossing the water, too, which will slow them down. Yeah, I think we just wait here. And actually, clearing this area of mules might help us later. I don't know exactly how, but it might. Okay, this dude first. Hit it. Yep, yep. From right down this way, if you don't mind. I might not even need the bola, but it just makes things easier. Looks like four people. I think I count four, unless there's somebody else. Oh, there's somebody else on that side? Okay. That's fine. Okay, we'll go ahead and knock you out. There you go. At the start. got you. Alright, miss. I missed. Oh. Missed again. There we go. Okay, he's already out, I think. Oh, there we go. Now he's out. Oh, okay. No, no, you got me. You got me. Good job. Both of them. There. That should be it. That's all we need. Grab that. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the delivery. Oh, wait. Hold on. I don't need a smoke grenade, do I? I'm not sure what the smoke grenade would give me. Nah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna put this away. Yeah, once you figure out how to use the bola properly, it's actually pretty good. Has a lot of ammo. And generally, just very, very useful. Alright, so back up this way. This is definitely calling the mules here. I definitely would prefer if I didn't have any of this. Can I just... Yeah, just use the vehicle. Okay, where do we need to go? We... Whoops, no, that's fine. Stop with the vehicle controls. I want the map. There we go. Alright, so back on the road for a bit. At least until we find more metals. There we go. Oh, good. You know what? Sure, charge me up. I don't think I actually need it, but it couldn't hurt. There you go. I think the road is supposed to go all the way to... Well, supposedly all the way to the other port, the distribution center. Hmm, the fact that it's raining here is not encouraging, but hopefully the road will just take us over every problematic area. We don't need to worry about it. It's usually how the roads work. It's how the bridges seem to work. Yeah, the rain is definitely getting a lot worse.
We get a small boost in speed from that. That was pretty good. I mean, even if you don't have a car, just the road itself is just so handy. Okay, I think we want to get off here, right? Yeah, we're pretty close. Okay, we want to go to the crossing here. I think we need to go still on the road for a little bit. On that turn, that's where we want to leave. So right about here is where we get off and go towards the craftsman. Drop off his junk. Maybe that'll be enough to convince him that we actually want to... Actually, is he part of the... Damn it, part of the network, but I don't think he has a private room. I could be wrong. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, make delivery. Here you go. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of lost cargo for you. Here you go. Signed photographs of movie stars. This is this is your priority delivery, huh? Okay. Hey Sam, our oh, thanks. At least you're fairly easy to get to. Cargo's in mint condition. How the hell did you manage that? I've got a truck. It's really handy. Okay. Uh, hologram of Craftsman, for some reason. King Midas and the Chiral Crystals. Fragile's father on the Fragile Express. Okay. I do probably need to be picking up more Chiral Crystals. That's fair. Just so you know, I've put something aside for you. Maybe you could use it more than me. Go ahead and grab it whenever. Yet more of these. Okay. It does seem like handing me off these. Okay, so I think we just go ahead and attach these to the tool rack, I guess. Just maybe attach them to the suit. Let's attach them to the suit. Let's put them on our right shoulder. There you go. Okay. Seeing you in action gives me hope. Keep it up, Sam. I mean, I suppose Good one here. New order available. Please access delivery term. Like, what else do you want me to do? I'm gonna go back to the engineer. That's not gonna happen just yet. The elder is so difficult to get to. And then back to Late Knock City with some of the food rations. I'm gonna do that later. Now, the medical supplies does seem pretty valuable. Uh, we can get the elder, like. To be full member, that'd be pretty cool, but doesn't necessarily need to happen. Now we need to go deeper in, but not uh, not now. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, maybe recycle something. Uh, but I need the materials to make that bridge, right? Yeah. So I don't really want to do that. No. No. Sleep. All right. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Death Stranding. I'm Peace Universe. You're Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.